Okay, number 13, intentional disinheritance. Maybe you do not want all of your three kids to inherit. Maybe you want only two of your kids to inherit. And there's lots of reasons for that. It could be that the third child, you know, has ample assets and um, they don't need any of your money. Whereas the other two are a stage in their lives where they would really benefit from your money. That's one reason you need to put it in a will. Cause if you don't have a will that says that the laws of intestacy come into play. Laws of intestacy means that you don't have a will. Um, think of last will and testament. So intestacy means no will. So if you don't have a will, you're single, your assets are gonna to go to your three kids equally. If you don't want that to happen, have a will and have a will say, I don't want somebody to inherit because they don't need the money or I don't want somebody to inherit and you know the reasons why. You don't want to put that in your will necessarily. You would simply say, I provide for the, these two children and not the third children, child and you leave it at that is what we generally advise. But if you want to disinherit somebody intentionally, you must have an estate plan, a will that says that. If you're using a revocable living trust platform, your revocable living trust also must say that.